story time about how I did the dirty with my crush's brother just to get him jealous. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I repeat, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. I just turned 23 years old and I've been in love with the same guy for five years. This guy, let's call him Chad. He's always said to me that he doesn't want a girlfriend. But then he'll call me at night for, you know what? I decided to ghost him for a month just to see what would happen, but he didn't even contact me. This obviously hurt my feelings because I was totally in love with him. I would have given anything to be in a serious relationship with him, but all he wanted was to party and hang out with other girls too. He started posting other girls to his story and it made me furious. I couldn't believe that he was doing that to me, but at the same time, I couldn't hold it against him. Nonetheless, I was brokenhearted. I decided to date a few guys, but nothing worked. All I kept thinking about was stupid Chad. A little backstory about Chad. He has two brothers, one is older and one is younger. The older one is really attractive. And he's also liked me for a very long time, but he also knows that I'm totally in love with Chad So he never really tried to talk to me because of that. Let's call him Jake I decided to slide into Jake's DMs and I told him that I thought he was really hot He replied right away Then he said that he had always had a crush on me But he thought that I was in love with Chad I lied and told him that I didn't have feelings for Chad and that I was totally free to date and see whoever I wanted He wasted no time and asked me out on a date. We ended up having a picnic on the beach for our first date It was actually super romantic and really nice we spent about six hours at the beach, and of course, I needed to make Chad jealous, so I took pictures with Jake and posted them to my story. A minute after I posted them, Chad started messaging me. He's asking me why I'm with his brother, so I simply responded by saying that he had no right to ask me anything. Then he calls me, but I decided to ignore the call. And suddenly, Jake kissed me. He said he'd been wanting to do part two of how I did the dirty with my crush's boyfriend just to get him jealous. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I repeat, this is not my story time. It was on me on Instagram. After Jake kissed me, I see I have five missed calls from Chad, and I pretty much ignored him the entire entire night. Jake took me home and nothing else happened. Next morning, I wake up to a missed call from Chad and also a voice memo. In the voice memo, he starts telling me that he misses me and that he really wants to see me again. My plan was just to completely ignore him, but I caved. I sent him a voice memo back saying that if he wanted something serious with me, that I would totally consider it. Otherwise, I didn't want him to talk to me. He then left me on red. Yep, that's right. He ghosted me again. That's when I called Jake and asked him if he wanted to come over to my place. By the way, at this point, I don't really have feelings for Jake, and I'm totally aware that I was just using him, which I do feel bad for, but it worked. Jake came over and we ordered pizza. We sat down to watch a movie, but of course, I pulled out my phone and started posting to my stories. Once again, Chad replies asking me why his brother is at my house, and that's when I really decided to ignore him. I left him on red, and boy, did it feel good. Then I see a text from Chad saying, I'm coming over. I didn't know what to do, so I told Jake that I needed him to leave because I had work. Part three is up three of how I did the dirty with my crush's brother just to get him jealous. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I repeat, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. Chad tells me that he's coming over to my place because he's super jealous. I have no choice but to tell Jake to leave. But Jake was super sweet about it and he said he totally understood. He gave me a kiss and left. Not even two minutes later, Chad shows up at my door. He comes in and starts asking me questions about his brother and I. Told him he had no right to be jealous or to even ask me any questions because he didn't want a relationship. Then he tried to kiss me and I couldn't resist. We started to kiss and before I knew it, we were, you know, after it was over, I came to my senses and told him to leave. Of course, he pretended to be outraged. He told me that he couldn't believe that I was treating him this way. And that's when I said, well, you've been treating me this way for the past five years. He had no comeback. Once again, I asked him to leave and he did. A few hours later, I go to Chad's story and he's hanging out with two girls. All I could do was cry. So I knew I needed to one-up him. The following night, I go out with his brother and we do it. I posted a picture of his arm in my bed and this sent Chad into a rage. He calls me, but I ignored all the phone calls. That's when I knew I had to tell Jake to go home before Chad showed up. I pretended to feel sick and asked Jake if he could go home. Chad shows up once again to my house. He asked me if anything happened between his brother and I. And of course I said yes. Out of nowhere he asked me to be his girlfriend. He tells me that this whole time he's actually been in love with me but that story time about how my boyfriend shames me for having cellulite. Disclaimer is not my story time with sending me on Instagram. I'm 24 years old and my boyfriend is 21. According to him he has never been with any girl who's had cellulite before or even an ounce of body fat. Yes I know what you're thinking he's a total asshole which in that sense he is. But the rest of the time he's completely fine and actually sweet. We met last year at a friend's party. At the party, I instantly fell in love with him. I thought he was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. And it was reciprocated. I saw him from across the room and he made eye contact. A few minutes later, he walked over to me and just struck up a conversation. I know that people present themselves the way they want to be seen, especially when they're trying to impress someone they're attracted to. He started telling me about how he's studying to be a doctor, how he volunteers at animal shelters, and that every single weekend he also volunteers at the soup kitchen. Everything he said was absolutely perfect. By the end of the night, he had asked me out on a date and I I said yes. I did explain to him that I didn't want anything serious and he said that was totally fine. I was trying to focus on my studies so having a boyfriend was not in my plans. But after we went on seven dates, he asked me to be his girlfriend. 
he wouldn't take no for an answer. After about a month, I finally said yes. Mind you, at this point, he hadn't seen me naked, not even in a bathing suit. The very night that I said yes to being his girlfriend, he asked me to come over to his place. He made a whole gourmet dinner, even bought super expensive wine. So we ended up doing it for the first time that night. The next morning when I woke up, the first thing he said to me was, do you ever exercise? I was shocked. Part two is up. Story time about how my boyfriend shames me for having cellulite. Disclaimer is not my story time I sent me on Instagram. That's when he said point blank, super serious, do you ever exercise? I just stared at him. I had literally just woken up in his bed after the first time we ever did it. Then I thought he must be joking. So I started to laugh a little. And then he says, no, seriously, do you ever exercise? I said, sometimes. Then he told me, you should really try to work out at least five times a week. I went home and finally texted him saying that I wasn't comfortable with the way he spoke to me. That's when he said that what he said to me was completely normal and that I shouldn't be offended. This was all in text, by the way. That's when he sends me another text message saying, you know, you wouldn't have as much cellulite as you do if you didn't eat so much fast food. And if you exercise five times a week, like I told you, I didn't reply to him for the rest of the day. Later that day, he shows up to my apartment and says, you know, I should feel comfortable enough to tell you what I think about you. He somehow ended up making me feel bad and I ended up apologizing. Obviously, after that, I became really self-conscious about my cellulite and my entire body. So anytime we were together, I would always stay under the covers. By the way, my boyfriend doesn't have a great body. He's super soft and pudgy. Last week, he told me that he had abs though. Part three is a story time about how my boyfriend shames me for having cellulite. Disclaimer, it's not my story time. It's sending me on Instagram. One day, he pulls up his shirt and says, look, I have abs. Which, no, he doesn't. He's super soft and has a thick layer of fat on it. I smirked and he said, what? And I said, you don't have abs. Then he says, yes, I do. I'm in better shape than you. By the way, he said this in front of his friends. So I was super embarrassed and stayed quiet the entire day. He finally went to drop me off and I was so happy to be home. But he decided to come upstairs with me. He got straight into my PJs. And when I came out of my bedroom, he says, wow, your cellulite's getting worse by the day. That's when I finally broke. I turned around and started yelling at him. I told him he had no right to talk about my body the way that he did. And that all he does is objectify me. He started laughing and said, wow, those are big words. And that when we met, he thought that I was in better shape. All my clothes obviously tricked him. I'm 5'4 and I weigh 130 pounds. I am by no means fat. But the way that he was bullying me was making me think that I was. That's when I told him that he was the fat one and that he had a big, huge beer belly. I also told him that his face was super round, but that didn't bother me. Oh yeah, and that his hairy back was gross. Then he said, wow, I can't believe you're attacking my physical appearance. Then he stormed out of my apartment. And as soon as he left, I felt happy. We haven't spoken in four days. I'm afraid that if he asked me to get back with him, I will. But I should just break up with him, right? What should I do? Story time about how my social media is completely fake and I've gotten lots of surgery. Disclaimer is not my story time. I said on my Instagram. I'm an influencer slash model Nepo baby. My parents are in reality TV. My mom got a lot of surgery back in the 90s and I do not look like my mom because of it. When I turned 16, my parents let me get surgery to look more like my mom. I got my nose done and lip filler. And this helped me go viral on Instagram. People praise me for my beauty and for looking like my mom. I was able to reach 100,000 followers on my own. And for my 18th birthday, my parents bought me another 100,000 followers. Most of my followers were fake. That's when I started making $10,000 a post. So I got more surgery. Part two is up. Story time about how my social media following is completely fake and I've gotten lots of surgeries. After my parents bought me 100k followers, brands were paying me left and right. I made $100,000 in two months. With the money I was making, I decided to get more surgery. I got a brow lift, cheek filler, and liposuction. By the way, this was eight to seven years ago. At that time, everyone was talking about those detox teas. The brand approached me and they were paying me 10k per post. But then my followers all started getting angry. People started noticing that I had lipo belly. If you don't know what that is, please google it. I started losing followers, so I had to buy more. I had to give them money back. Part three is up. Story time about how my social media is completely fake and I got lots of surgeries. I started to get canceled because of the products that I was promoting on my Instagram. I was getting paid more than $10,000 a post. I mean, what do you expect? And I got filler in my hips and my butt. At the time, the Kardashians were super popular for that. Well, fast forward eight years later, I had to get my lips, my butt, my hips dissolved. In total, I spent over $150,000 on surgeries. I'm still making lots of money on social media though. People are always trying to cancel me because they're jealous. I got invited to be on a reality TV show, but I feel like people will start noticing all my surgeries then. What should I do? Did I break up with my girlfriend for sending her nudes to my brother? Disclaimer is not my story time with on my Instagram. I'm a 25 year old guy and my brother is 23. We have always had a really good relationship. We're really close. We play sports together. We just spend a lot of time together in general. My girlfriend and I have only known each other for a year. We started dating two months later, so we've been together for about seven to eight months. To be honest, I don't exactly know how long. Am I the perfect man? No. Are we the perfect couple? No. But you know what? I put a lot of effort into our relationship. For example, she gets really bad mood swings when she has her period. So I always make the effort to go buy her her groceries, I fill up her car with gas, and on her first day of her period, I always go over to her apartment and make her a nice meal. And I always buy her favorite vegan cupcakes from Whole Foods. Sure, I always forget about her anniversary and stuff like that, but it's the big things that count, you know? So my girlfriend always jokes about how cute my brother is. I mean, is it really cute? I don't know. He's just my brother. She'll go out of her way to make comments about him. Now, I'm not a jealous guy, so I never really say anything. She did make a comment in front of my brother and it made him uncomfortable. So afterwards, I asked her not to say those things in front of my brother. And if you must know, go to part two to see what she said about my brother.
Break up with my girlfriend for sending her nudes to my brother? Disclaimer is not my story time. I said on Instagram. While we're sitting at dinner with my parents, she says, your brother is hot AF. My brother looks up from his dinner plate and just stares at me. My mom laughed awkwardly, and my dad literally didn't know what she was talking about. I could see how uncomfortable it made my brother. So after the dinner, I asked my girlfriend to not make any comments about how good looking my brother is. But then her weird obsession with my brother just got worse. He and I are both really into fitness and usually go to the gym together. And she started coming to the gym with us. Except she would follow my brother around like a lost puppy at the gym. Again, my brother would just turn to look at me and be like can you come grab her so i physically had to pull her away from my brother after a couple of times of us going to the gym and this happening i sat her down and told her that she really really needed to stop this time honestly at this point i found it kind of funny my girlfriend's also really funny so she makes everything into a joke so honestly i didn't assume anything terrible about it not until a few weeks ago when everything went down my brother started dating a new girl he showed my girlfriend a picture of her my girlfriend immediately started judging her by her looks she pretty much said she was ugly and that she had really bad skin and that my brother could do a lot better part three is a did i break up with my girlfriend for sending her nudes to my brother. Disclaimer is not my story time. I sent him on Instagram. After my girlfriend started ripping into my brother's new girlfriend, I put my foot down and told her that she needed to stop immediately. My brother was clearly uncomfortable and still she thought it was all a funny joke. As I drove her home, I asked her why she had to do that. She went on a rant about how hot my brother was and how ugly his new girlfriend was. And again, she started criticizing everything about her physically. She said her hair was dry, that she had too many pimples, that she was shaped like a little boy. That's when I told her that she didn't need to say everything she thought. As I dropped her off at her place, I decided to go to the gym. I seconds after stepping into the gym, my brother sends me a screenshot. Of two nudes my girlfriend sent him. Call my brother and he says, dude, WTF. Then I call my girlfriend and she says, what's up? Enter the screenshot and she said, oh my god, I must have sent that by mistake. I'm so sorry. And I said, why would you send that by mistake? She came up with this whole story about how she was actually trying to send them to me. And she sent me a screenshot of her messages. And she said that she probably just clicked on his by mistake. I don't believe it. I basically ghosted her for an entire week. My brother's still pretty pissed off. She's begging me to come back to her, but I don't know what to do. Could she be telling the truth? Are you talking about how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram account not knowing it was really me. Disclaimers is not my story time with sending me on Instagram. The funny thing is that when my boyfriend and I got together, I did not want the relationship. He begged me for six months to be his girlfriend. And you see, the only reason why I didn't want to was because I knew that he was a player. Every single one of my friends had basically gone out with him. I was just the last girl in the group to go out with him because I always kept saying no. And looking back, he was definitely obsessed with me because I never gave in to him. I was the girl that he couldn't have. During those six months, he would hit me up on Instagram every single day. Anytime I posted a story, he would automatically reply to it. He would like and comment on all of my pictures. We also had a lot of mutual friends, so we would end up at the same events and parties. And every time that he would see me in public, he would zero in on me. He would basically ignore all the other girls at the party and make me feel like I was the only one there. And he would constantly compliment me and tell me how beautiful I was, how attracted to me he was, how I was just so different from all the other girls that he had gone out with. Trust me, I knew that he was love bombing me, but eventually after six months, I was like, he's gotta be honest. So I decided to give him a chance. And let me tell you, he has been the perfect boyfriend. He's so sweet and considerate. My parents absolutely adore him. And my mom never liked likes anybody. See, I come from a Latino family. One day I decided to make a second Instagram account. It was just an inspiration account. I posted cute outfits of other people I liked, makeup, nails. So one day I see my boyfriend in my DMs. Part two is up. of how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram and not knowing it was actually me. Disclaimers did on my story time was sending me on Instagram. That's when I opened up my account to see that my boyfriend had DM me. First I thought he was joking. When I clicked into the message and I read it, my heart and my stomach sank. He was taking a shot. He thought that I was some sort of influencer. Now when I created the second account, I was already with him. I really didn't tell him that I was creating it. It was just for fun for myself. I did start gaining followers. I did put in a lot of work into this account, but it was pretty much a visual diary just for me. It just so happens that other girls liked the aesthetic and I started gaining a lot of followers. I had about 10,000. But here's my theory. Since my account is probably listed to be in the area that he is, probably popped up on one of his mutual lists or his explore page or something like that because I was trying to figure out how he found the account. The message read, Hey beautiful, I really love your pictures and love your style. I'm also really into fashion. Lol, no he's not. And I would love to take you out on a date. I know all the good spots around the city. Let me know if you're down. So when I clicked on my boyfriend's profile and realized that he had hidden all of the pictures we had together. So if he had DM'd any girl and she went to look at his profile, she would automatically assume that he's single because he doesn't have a picture of another girl. Instead of freaking out and calling him, I decided to keep cool. Instead, I called my mom. She told me to play along with the conversation. So that's what I did. Messaged him back and said, wow, I really love your pictures and your style too. What's your favorite designer? He replied, Louis Vuitton. Ew. By the end of the conversation, we had a date for that night. And I showed up. Part three is up. I tell about how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram account not knowing it was me. Disclaimer is not my story time I sent him on Instagram. At the end of the conversation he thought he was having with some other girl, we had decided to go on a date. And like I said, I was playing along, so I was super nice to him. I complimented all the clothes that he wore. I told him that he looked so attractive in his pictures and that I was really looking forward to meeting him. He chose a restaurant downtown. And of course he did because I live nowhere near that area. In fact, he and I never go out on dates there. So he knew that he wouldn't see anybody he knew. Here's where it gets actually really funny. This man sent a picture of the outfit 
outfit he wanted to wear. Brown fedora with a Louis Vuitton monogram on it, a Louis Vuitton belt, black pants, and a black shirt. So I replied saying, that's perfect. I'll wear a black dress and my favorite Louis Vuitton purse. But I was still heartbroken. Here's what I did. I asked my mom to come with me to the restaurant. Her and I did our makeup, our hair, and we got dressed up really, really nice. And I decided to wear a black dress. My mom actually happened to have an old Louis Vuitton purse in her closet that she never wore. So I grabbed it. My mom and I show up to the restaurant and my boyfriend is already there. So I decided to walk in and turn around. So that way he could only see my back. My mom decided to stay outside of the restaurant. But she knew to come in as soon as he saw me. I suddenly feel a tap on my shoulder and that's when I turn around. He says, oh hey babe, what are you doing here? The look on this man's face was of pure fear. That's when I hand him my phone so that he could see that the account that he was messaging was actually mine. That's when he says, you lied to me? He was mad at me for pretending to be somebody else. Then he started apologizing. And then he said that he knew the whole time and that he was just joking around. I broke up with him and haven't spoken to him since. Story time about how I got my sister's boyfriend to fall in love with me and I do not regret it. Disclaimers and on my story time I sent me on Instagram. My sister and I have always been rivals since we were kids. I'm 22 and she's 24. We were always super close in age, which means we competed for everything, including our parents' attention, clothes and makeup, and somehow we always ended up liking the same boys. When I turned 16, she was going away for college and I actually started to appreciate her a lot more. We started calling each other every single day and I realized that I really miss my sister. We actually got closer living further away than together. My parents were also really happy with this because her and I would not get along when she lived at home. One weekend, I decided to go stay with her on her campus, and that's when things got interesting. My sister was living it up. She was partying all the time. I told her that I didn't really like that she was partying so much. I told her that I didn't feel comfortable with her passing out at random guys' places. She told me that I was overreacting and not to tell my parents. But I got home and told my parents everything. This is when our relationship became bad once again. After this, my sister didn't trust me, and basically, she became my enemy. She started criticizing everything about me the clothes that I'd wear. So I had to distance myself from her. My parents wanted her to move back in with us because she wasn't doing well in school. She was clearly partying instead of studying. Of course, my sister refused to move back home, so my parents basically cut her off. I got a new boyfriend at this time, and my sister would flirt with him anytime she came home. I even caught them hugging one time. Part two is a story time about how I stole my sister's boyfriend and don't regret it. Disclaimers know my story time instead of me on Instagram. When I walked in on my boyfriend and my sister hugging, I knew I had to do something. I went straight to my parents and told them what she was doing. My dad pulled her into her room and talked to her, but she totally denied everything. She said that she was not flirting with my boyfriend, but we all knew that was a lie. Even my boyfriend was honest with me and told me that she had been flirting with him openly. That's when my boyfriend told me he didn't even want to come over to our house because my sister made him that uncomfortable. And when I told my parents this, they felt so embarrassed. They called my boyfriend and personally apologized to him. He was actually so sweet though. He would come visit me to my house and we would just chill out in his car while my sister was inside watching us through the window. Yeah, she was crazy. He and I eventually broke up because he went off to live in another country. And guess what? My sister said that she knew he never loved me and that's why he left me. She was being so mean at the time. A few years later, she started dating someone. Of course, at the time, it never occurred to me to even flirt with him or act the way that she did with my boyfriend. You see, I'm above all that. But as soon as I got a new boyfriend, she would start flirting with him. And she had no shame about it. This became a running problem in my family. My parents would ask her to leave me alone and my boyfriends, and she would say that she did. But no, she didn't. Oh yeah, and her boyfriend broke up with her because he noticed that she would flirt with a lot of guys. Apparently, she did it even in front of him. So when she finally got a new boyfriend, I decided that I was going to do the same thing to her. I started flirting with her boyfriend a little. Not a lot, but I definitely made sure to tell him I thought he was attractive. After a few weeks, he started saying things back to me, and I knew that it was working. I never did it in front of my sisters and my parents because I didn't want them to get mad at me. So instead, I got her boyfriend to basically fall in love with me. I already knew everything about him because my sister would tell me, so I just started telling him I liked the same things he did. It got to the point where one day he kissed me and I didn't tell my parents. I made sure to get his hopes up. Part three is up. Is it normal that my father still hits me even as an adult? Disclaimer, this is not my story time with sending me on Instagram. When I was a kid and I got in trouble, my dad would hit me. I always knew to expect it, so it wasn't a really big deal. But of course, I would do my best to stay out of trouble. Sometimes he would use a belt and sometimes he would slap me across the face. The slapping was the worst part. From the ages of 10 to 12, I didn't really get hit because I never got in trouble. When I turned 14, things started getting rough. I wanted to date boys and my dad was not having it. So his form of punishment sometimes was even taking food away from me. This happened on two occasions when I was 14 and I almost ran away because of it. I know most of you are thinking that my mom should have stepped in, but my mom was pretty afraid of my dad too. Sometimes I feel like my parents have brainwashed me into thinking that what my dad is doing is fine. The sad part is that I'm now 20 and my dad still hits me from time to time. I do have to say my father has always been there for me. He's provided me with a great life and a good education. And it's not like he would just hit me out of nowhere. It was only when I got in trouble and for specific reasons. But I do think he needs to stop it because I'm 20 now. Here's where things get really messy. I just got engaged and my fiance hates my father. Follow for part two. 
it normal that my father still hits me as an adult? Now that I'm 20 and engaged, I told my fiance about what my father did. Like I said, my father wouldn't just hit me out of nowhere. He would only do it when he was punishing me and for specific reasons. But my fiance loathes my father. He thinks it's abuse and that it wasn't a normal thing for me to have to endure as a child, especially as an adult. And I've only come to realize that what my dad is doing is probably wrong because of my fiance. Before that, I never had anybody in my life tell me that what my dad was doing was wrong. But here's what happened. My fiance and I were cooking in my parents' kitchen. My dad must have been in a really bad mood because he comes into the kitchen and says, if you don't clean up this mess, I'm going to show your fiance how I slap the shit out of you. My father had never shown that side of him in front of my fiance. But as soon as those words came out of my father's mouth, my fiance turned to him and said you will never put your hands on her again and my dad said that's my daughter and i can do whatever i want my fiance asked me to leave with him and i did my mom called us and begged us to come back but my fiance said no part three is it normal that my father still hits me as an adult after my fiance stood up to my dad we didn't speak to my family for about two months that's when my fiance asked me to go to therapy and I did. And that's when I found out that what I really needed to do was fix my relationship with my father. Because he had always punished me physically, I held a lot of resentment towards him. And my father being very antiquated, he thought that he was doing the right thing. Now let me clear a few things up. He only hit me twice when I was an adult. Once when I was 19, I got a bad grade in one of my classes and he flipped out. He slapped me across the face and told me that that would teach me to do better. The second time was right after my 20th birthday. I had gotten into an argument with my mom that really wasn't such a big deal. My mom and I worked things out, but my dad thought it was inappropriate that I spoke to my mom like that was i very disrespectful no but to him it was completely unacceptable so he hit me once with his belt my fiance is refusing to invite my parents to our wedding and to be honest i kind of agree with him ever since stepping away from my parents i have so much more confidence i'm also happier in my relationship because i'm getting to be myself and i'm not afraid that anyone will punish me but i do feel guilty i want to reach out to my parents i'm not sure what should i do